I'm walking through the bus to the excursion now. We're at a restaurant at Umalos. Gonna continue to the the Samaria Gorge in a period of twenty minutes. and then a little hour to get to the sea or on own powers or on little shuttle buses power until we get to the end where is the beach in Agyarumeni and we'll meet up I'll be probably as well 4.30 when I'm out at the restaurant of Samaria to take you your tickets and 5.30 we go on the boat so I wish you a wonderful day and be careful and enjoy the beautiful scenery take lots of pictures i'm sure you will not be able to stop it's very beautiful wherever you are enjoy the the senses and the aromas and the wonderful views around you if you're a bit stressed sometimes because a, a whole group is running down um, go a bit on the side let them pass and uh, then you move on again to have your peace and quiet fridays usually is as no saturday today saturday is usually not a too busy day but we'll see what we have today in case you still forgot something um, to eat to drink to whatever there's still another cafe over here yeah so uh, at the entrance there's another cafe if you are under 18 or above 65 or you have a special card for reduction then you have to prove it of course so you can get it ready and uh, use it over there and if you have your ticket don't throw it away keep it for the end for the check control and otherwise you have to walk all the way back up i don't hear anybody keen on that here in the mountains we have some uh, jit we have some mountain um, places where you can uh, stay um, over the night in the summer but as well in the winter with the snow to make more trips around in the mountains. Here we are. If you need to do anything of the cafe, you have it on the right side. In front of us, where the lady goes down, on the left and the right side, you can. Yep. Yep, this is 
Fantastic. Пефрон.
walk it down there, but I need. We are 350 meters from the old city of Samaria. So, this is going to be interesting. Mountains, mountain ranges everywhere. And this is how it looks on the path to the old city of Samaria. It's very beautiful down here. Sadly, it's a lot of tourists, so that's why I'm switching view all the time. I don't want to include some human beings in my photos and video clip just nature so uh, time to leave the old time of Samaria to continue my trek through the Samaria Gorge Them back. Took a wrong turn, so it's time for us to return to the path. I think it's over there on that side. So we're gonna cross the bridge again. I'm gonna take some photos of the city or village. You can call it whatever you want, but I think it's more like a small village. Then uh, city. Been real beautiful nature here. Let's track back through this city. Oh no, village. I think I'm getting a little bit tired now. This is the village I was in. 
it's time to continue. Uh, that's the bridge. That path I'm going to cross. Whoa, that's the wind. It's been a little bit windy on this trek, but sometimes some patches. Uh, so, the nature is extremely nice and enjoyable. The street. It's down there, but I think it's a bit hard to see. Got a little bit bumpy there for a sec. Bridge to pass, and this is the views. It's the, but it's no water in the creek. It's typical. Yeah, but it looks good.
walking to, towards toward the sea. Why I have the camera so high is because I have people below. I don't want any eggs on my Should uh, walk fast here, they say. Seem to be a very dangerous, uh, dangerous area. And there are a warning signs everywhere. about falling rocks and such. Let's see if we can get a picture of the sign. Here we got the sign. Falling rocks. Yep. Straight, that's for sure. I'm gonna try to show you what I'm I'm not looking at the, the screen because I'm actually in the nature. Creek go somewhere here in the mountains, but I haven't seen any big cats too. So I'm gonna. Hey. Okay. Get in to the gorge. We have some people in front of us. Why we're going six is because if the stone falls down, they told us to keep to the side. And because the stones usually hit the middle, not the, the sides so much, but it doesn't look like it when I when you look here. Seems like it hits everywhere. Side, middle, and on the ridges and so on. So I 
and either way it was a good idea to take a video clip right now look at these views it's gonna be a little bit shaky because I'm not looking at my mobile screen right now so this is basically the experience you have or get when you go into Samari Forge a lot of beautiful nature try to keep it stable Flowers. And pines and such as I think this is a dangerous place to be. Let's see. Get away from that ridge over. I had that ridge just above my head, so I don't think that's a good place to be. warning sign again here, yeah. walk fast <laughs> so oh the nine kilometer sign here means I've been walking for nine kilometers yeah. it's about I think it's three meters left or something like that. I'm not sure. But I'm used to the tracking so it's no big thing. Ooh, there. Whoops. Now it's time for me to take a pause from Oh, this is the. Uh, this is caused because of the tentac. Uh, the plates will go under each other. So. I think we are in the gorge now. So. The, the guide told us that. This was because of the earthquakes and the plates is going on each other. And we have three plates that goes under each oh, about under each other. We have the Cretan plate that is like a boat above the European plate, and then we have the African plate, and that's this is why it looks like this here one plate is going under the other one sadly it's a lot of noisy people here but 
can't uh, expect anything else when it's high season, uh, tall season. I mean, oh, we have some donkeys on the way up. Let's see if I can. Looks like this. You can see. Oops. Yeah, made it. Then we have some donkeys on the way. Uh, carrying some goods. Let's take a oh, it's horses, not donkeys. Hey. It's horses. Oh, yes. Before it was donkeys a little bit when we were a little bit higher in the gorge or on the way down to the gorge. As you see here, mountains are just going straight below each other. Yeah, it's interesting. It's a very harsh area this. I'm gonna have, have to edit this video later. Well, keep it stable. layers of the rock is going under. This is very interesting. When I studied a little bit science before I came here, we talked about this, that different in ancient animals can be in different layers and they are not in the same layer depending on which <coughs> age they live. Let's take a look on this rock over here. Very nice environment. Follow the path a bit. Um, not slip like I usually you do. Yep. This is how the track looks. Time, time to take videos again. I think we're getting closer to the sea. A spring in the way, so
think you can take an easier track on this side, on the south, southern south. So I went from the north side to the southern side. So it's flat. A little bit more wind than such. Winter, I think it was from Africa, the Sahara, and uh, closes this area with sand and dust. I don't remember if it was the winter or the summer, but that doesn't really matter. That happens anyway. It's the 10 kilometer sign there, and this had taken about I think four hours. So it's not an easy trek, I suppose. I'm kind of used to trekking and walking, so it it hasn't drained my energy or something like that, but. I think I might take a dip in the sea later or in, uh, in the mountain water by the spring. I mean the sea, not the spring. It has affected me somewhat, but not that much. Kind of sweaty, but uh, that's something should be expecting <laughs> when it's 27 30 degrees warm so take oh it's getting a bit narrow now other side it's starting to create a river or something like that so I think it's it's this spring slash river is, is the thing we're gonna take a swim in they said it was freezing cold but yeah I'm not gonna get that close to this one. Seems like it's a very rapid flow on this it's a river, small river. This is how it looks here. It's kind of rocky and the mountains. Oops. Let's see if we can get a good pitch.
think this is the end of the, the gorge, really, because I see mountains are climbing in front of me. There. Oh, getting small as well. It's a more simpler track now. I think it's nearing the end of the track. I think that's for the horses and such, donkeys. And a lot of flowers. Small river, what, what you want to call it, this over there, the camera side. Okay, we have arrived to another stop. I think, or is that the restaurant? I don't know really. I think it's not that far till I might take a swim, I might not take a swim. I'm not sure yet. This is how it looks outside the National Park. This is... Uh, I have a right to the southern part of, of uh, Crete. First time really. It looks really great. The water is turquoise. And it looks... Yeah. As it should do. <laughs> On a boat, Samaria one. We should depart any moment now. It's uh, I think it's 1730. Uh, over there is the gorge where I came out to this village. Over there. <coughs> where the last white structure is between the mountain stuff. This trip is going to take one hour to Suda, the harbor of Panya. Try to pronounce Panya right. I have a. I can pronounce most things in Greek. I can read it, but uh, I think it's the X that kills me. It's Greek time, 1730, because I think they are one minute late or two. Let's see if we get some today. They have so many restaurants.
restaurants in this village. Seems like we're waiting for something. <coughs> I think they are taking a nap. Just pulled up there. I don't call it, I don't think it's called Lantry or something. But we are departing. Hallelujah. This is going to be exciting. First time on a Greek ferry.
Thank you. 